Hey guys, do you really like Scrabble but find it really hard or frustrating trying to find long words and bingos? Well, if so, this video is for you, because in this video, the newest episode of Modified Scrabble, I'm going to be taking on Quackle in a game where the only acceptable words in the entire game are the twos and the threes. So all words that are four letters or longer are going to be unacceptable. It's going to be the normal twos and threes in the Scrabble dictionary, as well as the usual distribution of tiles on the usual board. The only thing that's different is the very, very much condensed word list. So it's going to be Quite a game, probably a lot of very small and dinky overlaps, but uh, hopefully it'll be interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, looks like I'm first. So yeah, like with this game, I mean, bingo tiles don't matter, right? Like you can't bingo. I mean, here, like I can't even play something like fines, right? I mean, this is just not a word in this variant because <laughs> it's too long. So do I want to play like this? Do I want to save the F for scoring? I mean, I, like, I don't even know what to do. This is wild. <laughs> well, like, I mean, I don't even know if S's are good in this game. Like, I almost want higher scoring tiles. I don't even know. I think I'm going to save the F for, and the D for score. I think I'm going to play nil. I have no idea strategically. I think I'll get a better handle on this as we move on with the game. But, like, all that matters here is scoring tiles. Like, you don't need bingo tiles because you can never bingo. So what's the bot going to do? It's going to trade six. Okay. So, <laughs> wow, this is just ridiculous. I mean, do I play job or do I want to save the J? I mean, if I can try to double the J or something, that would probably be better. The thing is, fob is too easy to overlap, right? Like, he's just going to be able to play on the F column next to it. So job at least, he can't overlap the J, which is good. I mean, he could play if he plays like Roger Taj, he'll just give me something better there. So I think I like this, just because it's hard to overlap. Like, I have no idea if I should do this, or if I'm supposed to hold on to the J. I mean, I could also, you know what I could also do? I could play like Fob here. Yeah, I just have no idea, guys. Like, I really don't know. I mean, maybe saving the J is good, but the J is also hard to overlap with. Just because J.O. is the only two. Like, it's not the best high point tile. I'd much rather have the Z or the X. Especially the X. The X is probably the best tile in this game. Alright, so the bot plays Veg. And again, Big does not take an S, right? Like, I can't play anything there. And there's actually very little to do all of a sudden. I can't even play Vega. Wait a second. Is the game over? Is the game over? No, it's not over. I can play with them in the V. <laughs> I thought the game was over for a second. Because I was like... I can not play through one, I can not play off big. I actually thought this game was over for a second, but it's not. Because I can play Taj, or I can play like that. Okay. I mean, if, like, I could also trade. Like, if the game passes out, I should win. I'm up eight. So I could actually trade and force Quackle to play from the V. Because, like, if Quackle plays from the V, I should be able to overlap above it. Or I could play Taj. Like, the nice thing about Taj is if Quackle overlaps above Taj. So, like, if Quackle plays right here then I should be able to come back with another play above it and sort of create this staircase pattern going up to the top left part of the board right and that might actually work out okay for me so I think I'm going to play Taj we'll see what happens see if my plan works all right so I have only O's which is not great it's probably better to have a diversity of vowels in this game but thankfully an O is a good tile for me here um, what do I want to do, though? I might, I think just play of, because if I play something here, like if I play mod, then it just gives back more easy overlap. So I think of is correct. Like, just because I can play a three there doesn't mean I should. See, let's play of. Score pretty well. I'm up 62 to 40. <laughs> this is just absolutely ridiculous, this game. I mean, how how are we going to access the bottom of the board? That's the question. <laughs> because nil can't be hooked. All right, the bot trades five. I guess I'll play rum. Right? Because rum can't be hooked. There's no risk here. Like, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I mean, this game is probably going to get passed out, right? Well, yeah. I mean, so cry. I can't play aeroid, obviously, because it's too long. I can play... Oh, yeah, why don't I play, like, D-O? Or D D A, right? If I just play D-A, that looks pretty good. And then all you can do there is drop a tile. At some point, if he wants this game to continue, he's going to have to play from this V. Right? I mean, I think that's how this is going to work. Oh, I can't play drum! <laughs> I forgot I can't play drum! Oh, man. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to enforce that. I'm going to say I lose a turn. That's hilarious. <laughs> I forgot I can't play drum. 
That's a four. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. And he takes advantage playing OUD. That's so embarrassing. I played a phony. When I played Dom. I was like, wait, why is that not a word? Like, those are all words. I forgot I can't play drum. <laughs> That's so funny. I forgot I was playing a four. I thought I was just playing twos. <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so he just plays OUD. God, I can't get over what just happened. I think I'm just going to drop an A. I mean, I don't want to play, like, AD and give back hooks there. I don't... I guess I could play Dad, but, like, I don't think there's a great reason to do that. If he plays a three anywhere near there, he'll give me access to the triple. So I think I'm just going to play Da. <laughs> I just can't believe I played Draw. <laughs> That's great. All right, Vug finally comes down. At some point, I knew he was going to have to go there. And... Yeah, now? See, the thing is, like, I feel like we're going to run out of space. Because how do we get to the bottom of this board? So do I want to play... Maybe I play a go. See, I definitely don't want to do this. Because this could give back disastrous, like, 30, 40 point overlaps. I have to avoid that. I think a go is fine. Doesn't really give back much. It can't be hooked. Vug can't be hooked either. Yeah, let me not screw up again. Oh, I got the X. That's really good. Yeah, let me not play a four again. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I got to uh, regain my composure here after that screw up. All right, plays car. He's cut his deficit to four, partially because I lost a turn. Uh, yeah. So here, do I just play X and cash in the X? I, I'm not worried about hooks again. This doesn't take a front E or an A in this game. I think this is fine. I mean, it doesn't really give much back. If he plays with Axe, I should be able to come back on the triple. Takes a pretty good lead. I think I like this. Let's do it. All right. Well, I obviously have a million bingos here, but bingos are just not a thing in this game. So that's not going to do me any good. Just Axe. Okay. So R. I can't hook R. I can't hook Axes. I'm going to be really mad if I play a four again. So now, uh, yeah, I mean, what do I do? I can't play in front of one. Yeah, like, there's just not a lot of things I can do. Uh, I don't even know. I mean, do I, like, just do this? It looks so silly. Maybe Dan. I mean, it doesn't give anything back, really. I can't really play next to X. Yeah, I'm going to just play Dan. I don't know what else to do. I think the S's are probably good to keep, so... Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, at some point, he's going to need to open some... I guess I could put play next to the O and a go for, like, six. But let's see what he does here. Yeah, all right, he went there. He plays DE for seven. And, yeah, there are not a lot of things to be done here. And, yeah, I can't really hook DE. That's the annoying thing. I only have an E that goes after it. Do I play set? It looks so stupid. But, I mean... I don't know what else to do. Or maybe... Oh, actually, how about S? Because this can't be hooked. Yeah, this looks really good defensively. I mean, it could give back twos on the triple, though, I guess. Eh. Okay, so maybe just it. Maybe it. I don't even know. This is... This is just so hard to, like, comprehend what I'm supposed to do. Do I play it or do I play S? I think... Well, Ed gives back a lot of underlaps also, right? Yeah, I think I'll just play S. I have no idea if that's correct. I might regret this. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not drawing very well here. A lot of one-pointers. But, I mean, there's no X. Like, the worst he could have is R or something for 17. But 17, I guess, is a lot of points in this game. Wow, just I or for 6. I think I'm going to play it now for 8 and take away that spot. This game is going to take a while. We're not even halfway done. I can't believe this. Wow. Yeah, so it, man, still just one-pointers. Yeah, the blanks are actually probably kind of bad in this game, as I'm realizing. I wonder if we are going to play all the tiles. We probably will at some point. He plays Vac. I might just play it again, or maybe in. I don't know if it really matters, N versus the T. Yeah, probably just in. I mean, I don't know how I score more than this. I guess I can play is for a couple more, but that gives back underlaps hooking SI, which I'm not dying to do. I think I'm just going to play in. Oh, I, wow, Z blank. That's a fantastic draw. Because now I should have a bunch of flexibility using the blank to hopefully score like 30 with my Z. That would be great. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm definitely drawing well. I've got the J, the X, and the Z. And Eon comes down. So finally a play over there. AE is hookless. 
So, I mean, I'm not really inclined to spend the Z for 12. I'd much rather, like, maybe I can get adds down and surprise them and get 30. Like, 30 would be a massive play in this game if I can somehow get that. Again, I can't hook nil. I think I'm just going to play rot over here. It doesn't really give much back. It saves the Z and the S. I think this is fine. All right, so maybe I can get down Fizz. What am I up? I'm up 25. That's a pretty sizable lead, actually, in this game, I think. I don't, I mean, I don't even think I'm going to try to analyze this game, honestly, guys, once I'm done. Because, like, how, how do you even analyze this game? Okay, so now I think I should play Tiz and Zin because that's 26 points. It's going to be hard to get much more than that. Like, I don't think Quackle is silly enough to just give me a massive Z spot. And if I can do this, I take a nearly... 50 point lead. I'll be up like 45. It really doesn't give much back at all. I, th I think this has to be worth it. Again, I can't play with Noon, obviously, because that's a 4. I can't believe I'm winning by this much after losing a turn earlier. That's funny. Alright, so here... Yeah, I mean, I'm up a lot. Like, I'm feeling very confident at this point. Doug, yeah, Quackle hasn't scored more than, like... Quackle hasn't scored a double-digit number of points in 7 turns. That's crazy. All right, so yeah, I'm up a lot here. What do I want to do? Um, I don't know what I want to do. Just FE? I mean, yeah, this could give back some plays on the bottom, I guess. Not sure I'm too keen on that. Uh, maybe just EF? That doesn't really give anything back. I mean, he can just play a 3 to the E. That's not much. Yeah, let's play F over here. I think this gives back a little bit. Actually, I think E, because the F does go well under the I. The F might actually be just as good as the H in this game. Again, it doesn't matter trying to keep a good bingo leave here. All right, so draw L and an M. Not great, but again, I'm up a lot of points here. I don't know how Quackle's planning to come back. It's going to be tough. Yeah, just B, E for 7. I might just, like, stall and drop an L for 2, because... I mean, there's just not a lot to be done. I don't want to play Lev. I don't want to give it to my only battle. Oh, maybe... Oh, how about Oil? That's a good play, I think. Yeah, let's just play Oil and kind of not really do anything and see what Quackle has in mind here. Because I can't really score much more. I don't want to... I don't think I want to play Femme, do I? I mean, I guess I could, but I think I'm just going to do this for now. Keep things tight. Wow, W. I mean, scoring tiles are not bad here, but I wouldn't mind an extra value. Getting the J, the X, and the Z is extremely lucky, because... Yeah, the Q could be a factor, actually. We'll need to watch out for that, guys, because the Q is going to be tough to play, because, like, you can't play Q, I, S, and Ds. So a Q stick could definitely be possible. Wow, L, I, S for three? That's interesting, to say the least. Um. Okay, so what do I want to do now? I mean, I don't want to get rid of my only Val. I guess I could trade a few. I'm not even sure what I would keep. Just, well, see, I don't want to play Fa, because that just gives back an extra seven points on overlaps. Or Ma, maybe La? For two? I mean, it doesn't really feel like it accomplishes much. I don't know. But, like, it's also if I trade, I don't even know what I'm keeping. This game is just so confusing. Like, I literally have no idea what to do here, guys. I feel like if I play next to this A, I'm just giving back more points for plays through this V for no reason. And otherwise, I feel like Quackle has to open something, and I should be able to re-overall. Yeah, I'm going to trade. Let's let's get rid of... Um, I don't know. I kind of like these scoring tiles. Obviously, I'm going to keep the E, the S, and the blank. I think they're just good. The M seems good. Maybe I keep EMS blank. I don't know. I mean, F and W don't seem as flexible. Let's trade FLW. I don't really know what I'm doing here at this point, honestly. But I feel like having more vowels... At, at this point in the game, when the board is tight, I think having more vowels for flexibility is good. So let's do that. There's still a bunch of tiles left. I still have a lead. Alright, so Quackle plays S-E-R. Yeah, I knew it was going to have to open at some point. I don't really have much there at all, so I might play Eve or something. I hate getting rid of both of my E's, though. No, I think I'm going to play... Well, I don't want to play Oma. That could give back Dev for, like, 20. I definitely don't want to allow it to score 20. That's a lot in this game. Um... So what do I do then? I, I don't really think I should play E, even get rid of both of my E's like that. Oh, what if I do this? Yeah, this actually, like, completely shuts down that part of the board. Because you can't hook any E or S-E-R. 
And what's he going to do? I guess he could play like RHO, but that's very unlikely. Yeah, let's do this. This makes it really hard for him. Draw the K. That could be tough to play. Yeah, I mean, what, like, what's he going to do? Is he going to play? He's probably going to play through the V, I would imagine, but we'll see. Maybe he'll play from this S. Eel for seven. All right, I guess he could still play there. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but it's not like he did that much. He scored seven points. So now just MI, maybe? I think the O is better than the I, probably. It's just a little more flexible for overlaps, usually. Yeah, this seems fine. It doesn't really give anything back. So let's do that. Ah, I got the Q. Shoot. Okay. Maybe I can set it up somehow. Or I could trade it. There's still time. There's still 11 in the bag. And he can't play more than three tiles at once. So I know there's still going to be more than seven left. Or at least seven, I should say. Maybe there's a creative way to set it up, though, because I have the last I now. I drew QI out of the bag. Let's see. Well, let's see what he does, and then I'll think about it. I, I'm still up a bit. I'm up 47, so... Unless I get stuck with the Q, I should be winning this game, I would imagine. But we'll see. Clapple might have something up its sleeve. Obviously, having the blank in the S is really good, because if it tries to, like, set itself up for a big play... And it's not that easy to set yourself up in this game, because, again, the longest word you can play is a 3. So, it's not like it's that easy for the bot to just set itself up. I'm realizing this board is almost starting to look like a, a heart shape, like if it gets completed, right? Because like you have the middle right here, and then it goes up to the left, and then it kind of comes down over here. And like if we could get this part of the board between the bottom middle and the top right completed, then we'd actually have like a heart shape. But this section right here... Just needs to be completed. Completed. That would actually be pretty funny. It's it's like the board is literally a broken heart right now. All right, yeah, Ava comes down. I figured the bot was going to go there sooner or later. Oh, you know what? Well, see, what I was going to say is I can play Oak, setting up QIS on the top, but I could just give back, like, Y for 40. I don't want to do that. So another way I can set up QIS. Oh, how about this? This is a little sneaky, and it doesn't give, it doesn't give back a lot because... There's only one S on scene. He can't play a 4 ending in the S. Yeah, this is actually really clever, setting up QIS and Scott. I like that. And I do run a little bit of a risk, though, because there's I'll be leaving 8 in the bag, and if he plays 2 tiles and somehow blocks that, it's just it's unlikely he's going to block it and not give me another spot, I think. I'm going to go for it. And if I can get down QIS, then that's pretty much game over, because then I don't really have any more risk of getting stuck with anything. So, yeah, if I can get down QIS and Scott, that's also a lot of points. That's like 20 points. I should be in pretty... Good shape, I have to imagine. All right, Quackle played AN and NA for four. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead with my plan and play QIS. So that worked out extremely well. And all right, pull a couple more four-pointers, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm up a lot. I'm up 62. So I think at this point, uh, I should be in pretty good shape. Because also, like, where's Quackle going to go now? I mean, I guess it's going to hook LI, right? Like, what else can it really do? Or MI? It's got to play down here in this area of the board one way or another, I think. Um, I mean, I could play from this S in S, but get very few points. I could play, I guess, to the I in cheese now. Um, so, I mean, we're probably going to finish the game. Like, there's enough space to play the few remaining tiles we have, but I don't think there's any path to victory for Quackle. Yeah, I got, I got JQXZ, which in this game is really, really lucky. I didn't even do all that much damage with them. I mean, I got, I got about 20 for each of them. I didn't even... Double the J. I guess I got twice the value for the X, twice the value for the Z. I didn't double the Q. I didn't even use them that efficiently. I honestly probably didn't even play that well. But I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, Alright, the for 17. And we're getting into the pre-end game. Obviously, normally in a regular game of Scrabble with this unseen, I'd be worried about bingos. But don't think bingos are possible here. So, honestly, Fly looks like a pretty good play to me. It's a lot of points. It's 23 points. Keeps a nice flexible leave. So I'd have five tiles. I should be able to go out in two with five tiles. And the bot's not going to be able to go out in two, right? Because with seven tiles, you can't possibly go out in two in this game. Because you literally cannot possibly play more than three tiles on one turn. So that seems good. Oh, you know what else, though? Actually, I have... I do have a light, right? So I can play Y. That's a lot of points. Yeah, that's probably better, right? I mean, it's a lot more points. So I might as well take it. It's 31 points. I mean, that's like, that's actually my highest, that's actually the highest score of the game, right? 
Yeah, I've, I've gotten a couple 20-point plays. He got one early on. Yeah, this is actually the first 30-point play of the game. Oh, no, I made a four! I did it again! <laughs> no! Oh, my gosh. I did it again. I forgot I can't play light. It's funny, like, I didn't see that at first. I only saw fly. And I was like, oh, I can play light down there. I did it again. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'm, I should still win the game. But that's going to definitely cost me some spread. Like I said, I'm going to enforce that again, just to be fair. And Poggle's going to probably take a while here, guys. Let me pause the video and come back to you while I go laugh at myself a little bit more and wait for Quackle to move. I can't believe I did it again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I should have just played flight. I mean, it's crazy. This shows you how well I've drawn, guys. Like, I've lost two turns. I've just completely thrown away two turns, and I'm still up 45, which is a ton of points in this game. That's just crazy. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Let's wait for Quackle to move. All right, and Quackle has played TI for three next to QIS. So now I think I'll do what I should have done before and play Fly, making only two and three letter words. And we'll see what Quackle does here. Uh, not really sure, but it's taking its time. Yeah, and now the annoying thing is I can't go out, right? Because I have four tiles. I mean, obviously I have a million outs normally. But Quackle isn't going to be able to go out either because it has four tiles. So I guess I'll just play O down here, right? Saving the blank? Unless I'm supposed to, like, use the blank. Because maybe... Yeah, I mean... No, I still get two extra points. Yeah, I probably should do this and then just go out somewhere with the blank. <laughs> I don't even know. This is just ridiculous. I guess Quackle's going to... Yeah, Quackle has multiple good plays. Because Quackle's going to play, like, Daw or something in way. I could also go there. I wonder if I'm... Am I supposed to play, like, this? Just to stop... uh Sorry, like this. To stop Daw? I wonder if this is better. Because I won't get O stuck. Yeah, let's actually, I'm curious. Like, let's do some math. So this is 14, 18 points. Quackle would play probably Few and Wad. That's uh, 15 points. So that's plus 3 for me. Where am I going out with my O? Got? Probably Got. So that's 4. That's plus 7. I get 2. That's plus 9. And if I just play O down here, that's... Uh, 49, 21, plays Daw, 12, 23, so minus 2. Yeah, I'm probably not getting nearly that much with the blank. I would need, like, 10 points with the blank to make that worth it. There's no way that's happening, especially since I can only play a 3. So, yeah, no, that's, that's not going to happen. So I think I am actually supposed to block over here. And yeah, I have Ho and Got, so I'll be going out. Like, I need to just make sure I don't get stuck, but I won't. So, that seems fine. And yeah, Wood comes down, and now I'm going to go out with Got, which I think might actually be my only out. And that's that, guys. 285 to 226. So I win by 59, despite losing two turns. Yes, a Scrabble Grandmaster lost two turns in a game where only twos and threes were valid. That happened. But I still won. <laughs> well... I don't know what to say, guys. I'm, I'm not going to analyze the whole game. I think you get pretty bored. I'm curious if I played the right end game, though. I do want to put this through champ. Just kind of a fun little position here, given you can only play threes. Uh, wow. Really? <laughs> I guess setting up Ow in the corner? Is that the idea? And Ow in few? Yeah, that's so hard to find. Goodness. Wow. I mean, I needed, what, plus 8, I guess? 50... No, I netted plus nine, so I was only four off. <laughs> this is just crazy. Or, oh, just W O. Okay, that I should have been able to find at least. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. Because I should be able to score more playing two tiles on the bottom. Well, I can just play with W O E. Okay, yeah, I can go out there. That makes some sense, actually. Yeah, crazy. I, I just didn't... Uh, I only thought about playing with all. I think I got stuck on that because that's where he was going to go with DOS. So not the optimal end game, but good enough. Yeah, I don't know, guys. That was... um. That was strange, to say the least. That was very strange. Like I said, I have no clue if I played well at all. I definitely know I got lucky drawing all four high pointers uh, in this. And the K. I mean, I drew JQXZK. That's super lucky. I mean, the fact that I lost two turns and won by almost 60 points just tells you how lucky I got. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, I, hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure how much you learned from this. I mean... Probably I didn't learn too many words, but uh, or or strategy really. But uh, in any case, maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, maybe you got a kick out of it. Especially me playing two fours in a game where fours aren't allowed. That was pretty funny. That was definitely 
Uh, to me, even though it was sort of the low light, it was also the highlight. Got some good laughs out of that. So hope you guys did too. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know if you have any other similarly goofy ideas you want me to try. Um, I'd love to love to hear them as always. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So appreciate the support. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Bye bye.